Welcome back to a quick tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to get a button event out of a button in terms of an impulse. I keep seeing this being done in an unideal way, so I want to talk about this in a very quick tutorial so you get the uh, message really quickly. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's hop into Smooth POV. Here I've got a button. I spawned it in the world using the Create New menu. I assume that you know how to get a button going. If you don't, there's some videos linked to the video description to tell you how to do this. Once you've got the button, we want to get an impulse out of it as quickly as possible. Let's go. So I'm going to equip my uh, developer tooltip here. I'm going to hit secondary on the button. I'm going to open up the context menu and hit open inspector. Once the inspector is open, I'm going to look for the Neos button component here. I'm going to switch to the logics tooltip here, and I'm going to grab the word Neos button and push secondary to spawn in the world. What I've seen a lot of you do is use the is pressed boolean output and the fire on true or fire on change um, node from the flow folder. Don't do this. Is pressed is purely for sort of visual aspects of the button or maybe a visual indicator that the button is pushed. It's not for getting events. While you can do it this way, there's actually a known very good way of doing it using a dedicated event node called button events. Let's go ahead and find that. So open up the node menu, node browser here, go to interaction button events. Once this is double triggered, trigger it in the world and then connect the top of Neo's button to the left hand side of button events and you've got a fully functional button events node that will give you events when the button is pushed, let go of, held, all sorts of stuff. The top one here is push, pressed, we can pull out our ribbon here and hit secondary and you'll get an impulse every time the button is pushed. Why is this good? It's good because it means that you don't need to worry about fire on true. If we look at fire on true here, flow fire on true, Fire on true requires a user in the bottom here, and that's the user who pushed the button. And sometimes it's unclear, like who pushed the button. Button events does this for you. You can actually see this on the debug node for the impulse that I've got here. It says last pulse and then a number, and then it says from probable prior. That's the person who pushed it. There's a video linked in the video description to get the username of the person who pushed a button, and you can check that one out for more information. Uh, but this is the appropriate way to get a button event from a button. Don't use fire on true. This will work with uh, this button, physical buttons, UIX buttons, basically every type of button that's out there. And it's the way that you're meant to do it as it handles all sorts of things for you, such as debouncing, um, pushing, holding, secondary, disabled state, all sorts of stuff like that. And it handles the user state for you. Check the video description for more videos on this matter, including where I use buttons in many tutorials for more information. But this is meant to be a quick tutorial, so I'll sign off now. Let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.